We've got a truck here, and we're going to show you how to do a vehicle accent kit, which is basically just like the rocker panels down below the molding on the side of a truck. It's a real popular look. It looks really sharp. It kind of keeps the rocks and the stones from coming up and hitting the bottom of your truck. Um, it, it really doubles as two, two things. One, it makes your truck look sharp, and two, it'll keep the rocks and the scratches off the bottom part of your truck. Camel clad's easily removable. If you want to take it off five, ten years down the road, you've got the option of doing that also. So basically what we do with the truck is we start with a clean truck once you've washed it, then you go over it with a DuPont prep saw, a wax and grease remover, and you wipe all that area that you're going to put the camel clad on off real well with that wax and grease remover. And then after we get done doing that, we'll start to put the camel clad on. We'll just take a couple paper towels, put a little wax and grease remover on there I mean, get all this area wiped really well make sure you get all up underneath the edge of the molding any place where there's going to be camel clad you want to make sure you do a good job of cleaning it off the other thing I recommend you do is open the door up and clean these rocker panels off underneath here because you can only reach so far in there and when you trim that camel clad off it actually goes up underneath these rocker panels a little farther than you can reach from the outside so go ahead and open your doors up and clean those rocker panels off with the doors open all right we've got our piece pre-cut it comes to you cut already to size there's different width of uh, vehicle accent kits that you can get, so make sure you order the one that's appropriate for your vehicle. And we're going to do from the front tire here back to the back door, and then we'll use our second piece from there back. So now you've got your piece pre-measured and you've got it the right size, just pull the backing off. It's just a peel and stick. You pull that backing off and then you can lay it up on the door here. Once again, you've got as many attempts at this as you want, so don't worry about the uh, getting it right the first time. So we're going to lay this up right underneath this molding here. Once you've got that laid up right underneath the door, or right underneath the door molding here, go ahead and just squeegee that down. And then you begin to work your way down the, the side of the truck. If you get any air bubbles or wrinkles, just take the material and gently raise it back up to wherever the air bubble or the wrinkle is, and then just continue on from there. You basically work with medium to light pressure, starting in the middle and kind of working your way to the outside. There we are at the bottom of the door right here. So once you get it down to the bottom of the door, you can trim that door out with your with your uh, razor knife, your, your utility knife. Make sure you pull that material loose from down there on the rocker panel, making sure that it's all the way to the bottom of the door before you trim it out. All right. So by pulling that material loose and pushing it down in there with that tool, We'll make sure we get it stuck all the way to the bottom of the doorway. Then what you'll do, take your razor knife and lay it flush against that door. You don't have to angle it. And then just trim it straight down, following the contour of that door. Okay? And then you'll find the bottom corner of the door. Right there. Stick your razor knife right at the bottom of the door. Same thing, lay it flat against the door and just follow that edge, leaving your knife flat against the door. 
all the way to the back of the door. You can use your finger to find that spot. Same thing here, just come up, cut straight down. And there's your door cut out. And once you've got your door cut out, then you can continue down on your rocker panel, pushing that material up underneath that doorway with your squeegee. Once again, if you get into a situation where you've got some wrinkles, just lift it back up and push it down. And just work your edges. Once you've got it tucked up underneath the door, then just work that corner right there, making sure that you don't get any air bubbles or wrinkles. Make sure that material's stuck down right on that leading edge of that rocker where it's going to curl around. And then right here where the weld seam is on your rocker, right here, you can go ahead and cut that all the way out with your razor knife. And that'll give you a little more leeway there with your with your camel clad because you've actually got a weld joint right there. You've got an indentation in the body right there. Make sure that you get that pushed in real well before you continue on down the body of the truck. So I'll make sure and unstick it and restick it down to make sure it's fitting into that molding or into that indentation in the body molding. We'll continue on around the truck with our camel clad. And basically you don't have to go all the way to the bottom of this. You just go around far enough where you can't see it anymore, like that is, and you're good to go. Trim off the front edge, same way. Lay it flat on the side. Trim that off. Go ahead and run your squeegee along that edge. Make sure it's down good. Come back to the other side of the door. We've already cut one side, so we're going to cut the other half now. Important here that you get a good sharp razor blade, lay it flat, and trim off the other side. All the way down to the bottom. Run your squeegee along that edge.